Hey, Dr. Clarko, do people huff gasoline to get high? Oh, yes, they do. So huffing or in inhaling fumes uh, from various products is really pretty common, and um, but it also can be very dangerous. And the thing about huffing is that you can huff a lot of things. So yeah, certainly uh, gasoline is one, felt tip markers, nail polish remover, paint, or what else, uh, glue, uh, poppers, which is amyl nitrate, people use for sex and other things of that sort. I mean, there's a whole, the list goes on, okay? You, need a, you don't need a prescription, they're inexpensive. Anybody can really buy them, even minors, right? So that's the appeal, I suppose. Now, basically you inhale the fumes of the vapors and it gets you kind of, gives you a high. Also, it kind of chills you out and does some other things, but it has some very serious long-term consequences, okay? So first thing it does though, if you use enough, it'll cause your heart rate to go up and your blood pressure to drop. So if you have a blood pressure, if you're already low blood pressure or you're dehydrated, it can cause you to black out and that could cause some, you know, you could cause trauma on the way down. Long-term use though, very good studies show it really messes with your brain, man. It just basically fries your brain, causes a lot of brain damage and that has a lot of, you know, your behavior, your mood, your coordination. I mean, a lot of stuff really seriously get impaired. And then also you, it, it can mess with your organs like your liver and kidney and your heart and it can kill you. Be sure to follow us for more recovery and addiction information. If you're struggling and need help, contact us in our profile below.